I'm your host, Swank. And today we're just going to begin to a couple of things, man. This is basically a free show. Um, we'll put a title up or something, but that ain't really what it's about. Today, um, I just want to get into it. And you know, sometimes on, the, on, the, on my platform, I like to play and crack jokes and make humor out of serious situations sometimes. I just want to address my viewer personally and directly and let you know that um, I'm going to give my commentary on whatever going on and I'm going to say it as I see fit. And I'm basically, basically my goal is being straight, being straightforward and honest about any and everything that I'm saying. Even if it comes off in a humorous way or a ha ha he he a key key type it up, it still comes from a genuine place. And I like to call it how it is and say what it really is and not really bullshitting, you know, and um. You know, play around. Even if I display the content in a humorous way, it's still the same thing. I'm coming from a serious place, and I just want to be realistic. And let's just call a spade a spade, and a book a book, and an alligator an alligator. Alligator is not a crocodile no more than an elephant is a cheetah. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? No more than a, a, a wild wolf is, is no different than a German shut. It's different. It ain't exactly the same. In the same realm, speak, but it's, let's be totally clear and consistent about what we're saying and the message that we deliver. I do like to have fun. I do like to be humorous. Um, but I like to get into some real content as well. The stories can get more serious. They will. Like I said, it's a fresh platform. And um, I um, ask you guys to exercise patience in growing with me and helping me and watching me grow through this process and supporting me. Just like I will support you or any other person that's doing something on the right path or whatever the case, and I feel I can help in any way. Um, with that said, again, welcome to Swank View. I'm your host, Swank. Um, a couple things I just want to get into briefly, just just, just real quick, just, just baby. This basic shit was going on in the media. Like, you got Takashi 69. Gilly the Kid don't want to interview Takashi because he said Takashi, you know, is a rat and he don't understand why he want to come on his platform. Joe Bud said the same thing. He don't want to come on his platform trying to suck up his juice or tarnish his name. Or as Gilly would say on a million dollars worth of game, trying to put mustard on his jacket, trying to put smut on his jacket. So, um, that's one thing we're going to get into. We're we'll also get into, uh, these fake ass niggas and I'm getting tired of they keep resurfacing. I mean they ain't never going nowhere. They just keep resurfacing, rearing their ugly head, doing this silly shit. You know, these fake ass bosses who really workers working for people talking about they a boss. It's just irritating. Like it don't make me mad per se because I don't have to deal with it. But to a level when I'm in certain places I have to deal with it because those type of people are around as well as real genuine bosses, leaders, kings, whatever you want to call it, chiefs, whatever. You know, then it falls to the same, speaking of Chiefs, falls to that same complex of Chief and Indian. Because everybody want to be a Chief, nobody want to be an Indian. But before you be a Chief, you have to once be an Indian. What do you think you learned and got all of this stuff from? You didn't wake up as a fucking Chief at seven and ran a whole tribe by yourself. Realistically. You know, the type of people, you know, you, 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 know, you can't tell, they got everything. You can't sell them nothing. And they know everything. You can't tell them nothing. Them type of people. We're going to discuss them briefly. Um, also, shout out to... uh, <laughs> Shout out to uh, Nas. Happy birthday, Nas. I think he just made 47 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the God. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what up, Dunn? The Little Dunn's, whatever you call it. Um, shout out to Nas. Um, so let's get into it. Takashi 69, you know, is losing traction, basically. And the man done fucked up and set up that... Um, he done set up there and lost some of his mo momentum. You know, he came home and dropped the, the bomb on him and did the number one record in the country or the world or whatever you want to call it in several markets, top streaming. But now his album that came out and it's kind of it's losing traction. It's losing his legs. It was sprinting. Now it's like it was running. Then it was running. Now it's like it was jogging. And it's damn near finna start doing a power walk. And after that, it's just simply walking. After that, you take the steps. After that, you just standing there. 
So he watching the decline of his career and his momentum. So now he's trying to reach out to other platforms such as the Joe Button podcast. Now, you know Joe Budden got his own situation with Spotify. He asked them people for $250 million to continue doing his show to renegotiate his contract. And Joe Budden declined. Joe Budden said, no, I'm not doing that. I mean, uh, Spotify declined. They said they're not doing that. And Joe Budden said, if y'all can't give me this much money for my show, if you don't feel I'm at work that for these many years, for this time, for whatever the stipulations and 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 and, and <coughs> uh, stipulations and rules were, um, for some reason, it didn't work out. Joe Budden was offended, so he said, fuck Spotify, he's taking it his own way, blah, blah, blah. Um, but nonetheless, Takashi 6 ix 9 wants to get on Joe Budden's platform and wants to tell his story and claims he has some new information he wants to give Joe Budden about his story, not just what was heard in the discovery, not what was heard at trial and court on TMZ, on any other social platform or media outlet. He says, Takashi 6 ix 9 says he has more content and something else to tell, um, Joe Button or anybody who he feels has the status to receive his interview and get his exclusive interview. Not what he did in the New York Post or whatever he posted, did some big paper, but I'm talking about from the people in the culture. Um, he wants to go on a platform. He apparently told Joe Button that he has more to say. He got more names, more dates. This happened. We walked the bam, y'all didn't know about this, and my baby mama dad, and and this guy girlfriend, and Shotty did this, and you know Shotty Treyway, them niggas, and they did this, that, and the third, and Harv did this, another Treyway guy, heavy uh member, a boy, a uh, 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 a big homie as they call it, and everybody, you know, he wanted to get on there and say some stuff. Joe Budden say he not feeling it. There's no way it was. He said there's no way that he is no way that he gonna do it, and then he tried to go to Gilly the Kid from Million Dollar Worth of Game. Shout out to Gilly the Kid. Million dollar worth of game. Shout out Wallo. Um, them guys over there doing their thing, and he tried to get over there with them. And Gilly, you know, always uh, has the status of being one of those guys that stands for something. Is no, you know, no bullshit. You know, what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. And spoke for the streets because apparently he comes from it, so he understands it, and he know how to speak to those people just like they know how to speak to him. No big ass and little use. It is what it is. This the move we gonna bust. And you can come up from this if you follow the protocol and you know what I'm saying do what you gotta do. Um, so again, shout out to Gilly the Kid and Wallow. Shout out to the Joe Bud podcast as well. What is it? Rory and Maul. Shout out to shout out to Rory, Maul, Joe Bud. Shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. I don't have no malice for none of you guys. But I do understand what y'all saying about not letting Takashi come on y'all platform and speak that bullshit. AKA his rhetoric and propaganda about absolutely nothing. And then he's a certified snitch. He 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 said he has his reasons. He can explain why he told on the whole game when he was game banging with the Treyway Bloods out of New York. He said he can explain why he told on all them guys, got them 15, 20, 30 years, because they were trying to have sex with his baby mama. He got kidnapped. They robbed him. They was taking show money. He was getting booked for shows for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars And they would give him eighty grand and keep the rest. And tell him, man, you finna get 80000 for this show. And Takashi be like, for real? Cool. But it's really booked them for 200 and something. And they keep the balance of that. So they getting more than him, in effect. Off his blood, sweat, and tears, his work, whatever you want to call it. Even though their affiliation did give him some credibility. So we all know the Takashi story. I won't get and dwell into it. But bottom line, he's trying to get on Gilly the Kid and Wallow's show, which is called Million Dollars Worth of Game, which is like certified with the streets and official toilet tissue and respected. And has a status and a certain integrity to their show. Also, Joe Button, he tried to get on his show, and Joe Button ain't willing to compromise the integrity of his show since to get Takashi and do numbers. Um, but it's funny, and I never said this man's name, and I ain't got nothing against this man. I don't even know this man, Hassan Campbell. The dude who over there doing his, uh, he got like 200,000 followers. I don't have nothing against him. A lot of people went against him. He had a situation of some discrepancy with African Bambada about some uh, some foul play allegations or some some uh, sexual nature I don't want to get into. I know the story. You know the story. I won't get into it. I'm not trying to slander that man either. But he said he would do the interview with Takashi and use it as a platform to teach young men what to do and what not to do. Not to ever have a big homie, he says. Not to um let anybody dictate to you what to do, he says. Not to let a quote-unquote big homie or gangster trick you into the gangster lifestyle 
and trick you, uh, I mean, ultimately off the streets. They're going to trick you off the streets by doing all of these things that they want you to do and teach you this lifestyle and embedding and infusing this gangster mentality into you. So he's saying he want to use an interview with Takashi that everybody else is calling a rat and when death speaks to him for over 10 seconds, they had two days in the room and it was dire straits. Don't even want to speak to this man. They said, so Hassan Campbell said that he will take the interview with that man and use it as a tool to teach the youth what to do and what not to do. And, 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 and one of his main key talk points was to never, ever have a quote-unquote big homie. I'm not even judging the man. I'm telling you what the man said. I want you to judge the man and tell me what you think about what he said. Um... So, yeah, that's that. Hassan Campbell said he'll do the interview. He wants to interview a lot of other people thinking in the back of their head, Hassan just doing that for clout. You do anything for clout. You do anything for clout. It's not he tried to do anything for clout. It, seems, it appears that he wants to take um, Takashi's clout and put it on his platform, spike his subs, spike his views. You know what I mean? Spike his uh, donations, spike his super chats and live chats and Patreon and so on and so forth. I'm not knocking none of this again. I'm just simply telling you what's going on. I display the facts. I let you judge. I have my opinion and point. I will give it, and that's that. And you can take it how you want, man. Do it how you want to. Once again, this is Swank View, and I'm your host, Swank. So you already know I'm coming. But yeah, so that's up. Uh, that's what's going on with Takashi Six Nine. It seems like his 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 his, his, his career declining, and it's like he looking for some lifelines. Shout out to G Herbo, Chicago artist G Herbo. G Herbo is certified platinum with his album PTSD, I believe it's called. Hope I'm not misquoting. It's got uh, features from Chance the Rapper, Lil Uzi Vert, uh, Juice World, Rest in Peace. And um, he's certified platinum. He had his first platinum plaque. He's doing real good on the streams. His streams is up in the real heavy millions. And I'm proud of G Herbo, the young guy from the city, doing his thing, getting money, doing it the right way. Respect. Shout out to G Herbo. Much respect and much success continue to you, bro. Um, again, man, I'm going to wrap it up. In closing, like I said, this is a quick one. I just want to use them things to just, like make examples and just report what's going on. Like I said, this is a real brief one. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't none super extra, though. But I'm going to keep the content coming as I'm getting it, as I'm getting the content. Um. I, dis get, I um, display the content and then give you my commentary. That's it. That's all. On another note, I just, I just, I just want to uh, piggyback on that big homie shit, man. Cause everybody talking about the big homie, and everybody talking about they happy, and everybody doing it. But a lot of people don't even know why they be doing what they be doing for. Like, why is you doing it? Why, why is you doing it? Could you tell me why you doing it? And that and that be the problem. People don't even know how they be doing what they be doing and be talking all this heavy stuff, but simply just be workers and just be pawns in someone else's chess game in a bigger game. And I guess to some level we all is, but the problem comes in when you believe that you are a bigger figure than you are. Everybody has a piece of the puzzle to play. Play your piece of the puzzle and don't worry about playing mad. Take instructions and then know when to leave. It's a time and a place for everything. It's a way to do everything. Good, bad, happy, sad. And the problem I'm just having today with a lot of people that I used to deal with and some people I still deal with is not knowing when to use your logic and knowing when it's time to hold them and fold them. Sometimes, as Nori say, shout out to the drink champs, uh, Nori and Effort, you got to relax. Sometimes you got to relax. With that said, man, I'm finna go, I'm basically wrapping it up like I said, man. Use y'all own brain. Use it for good. Put the work in. And I need y'all to stop thinking that y'all need $80 million to achieve a goal. Sometimes you got to just put your ass in the seat and do the work. Sometimes you got to keep swiping till your arm burn. And that's the only way you're going to get it clean. You understand? Sometimes you got to keep running when you out of breath and your mouth dry. Pause. Sometimes you... You got to do these things. I need $80 million. You letting time fly by, man. Pay attention.